Hi, and welcome to the free lead system forever and the two new sales pages with videos that I have provided for you and shared with you. The first thing I want to mention is if you don't have a YouTube channel already, please go out and get one. It's free. And the YouTube embed code is branded to the channel that the YouTube embed code comes from. What I did is I took two of my videos and I uploaded them to your own marketing system because I used a feature called in video programming on my personal YouTube or my, my business YouTube channel. And what that does is that puts my face or my brand inside the videos and I certainly don't want to be sharing that with you. The ideal thing for you to do is to take the videos and grab the, the live stream upload them to your desktop or download them to your desktop and then upload them to your own YouTube channel. It's not stealing because I created the videos and I'm giving you my permission to use them because I want to help you build your list and get more free lead system for every members either as free or upgrades preferably. But in any event what I will do is show you when we're in the process of looking at these pages I've shared with you where you find the code and why it's important that you get your own embed code. So let's start over here by putting our mouse over websites and click on create sales pages. What I did is I created two sales pages. The reason being that a lead capture page leading to a lead capture page is number one redundant and number two obnoxious. You don't want to ask people for their contact information twice. So within this system we're going to use sales pages that talk about the free lead system forever and then take them to the done for you lead capture sales funnel to get their own free lead system. So put, again, put your mouse over websites, then create sales pages. Scroll down to shared sales pages. The two sales, the two sales pages that I have shared with you are avoid overwhelm with the free lead system forever and FLSF. What does he know? Now the first thing I want you to do is click on it because you might not like it, and if you don't like it, you're not going to want to use it. So let's click on it and take a look at it. This is the, it's a very brief, I'm going to shut off the video, it's a very brief little postcard type looking, um, you know, sales page. And down here, visit my website, when they click on that, they go right over to the lead capture page for the free lead system. And it would be your lead capture page, not mine, because it's in your system. And I want to show you what I meant now about the video and the branding from YouTube. You see down here, somebody can choose to watch this video. I actually do that because I like to see how many views people have on their videos. But if they click on YouTube here, you're now looking at the same video and you're looking at the video on your own marketing systems um, YouTube channel. My face is not here because it's not mine. Now if this, what I did with this video is I did not brand it. I did not put anything in the description. If you do take the video and you do put it on to your own YouTube channel, a hint for you in optimizing and making the best of your YouTube videos is in the description, the very first line should be a URL that includes the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash because it's a clickable link and you want that to go to either A, a lead capture page, B, a sales page, C, your website, something having to do with you and that's what people will look at. So that's another reason why you don't want to necessarily use my embed code or this generic embed code because you want if somebody finds your video online and they didn't find your lead capture page you want to be able to tell them where can they go to get their own free lead system forever and that would be right here under the about section so let's get out of here and go back to this lead capture page and let's say that you do like it so we're going to go over and we're going to take a look I'm going to show you again so you, just to, re, to be redundant and, and helpful, is put your mouse over websites and then click create sales pages. Scroll down. This is the one that we just looked at. It's FLSF, What Does He Know? by Daryl and Julie, Internet Marketing Consultants. What you want to do is you want to create a copy of the page. You click on copy and it opens up the new title. Well, obviously, you're going to want to get rid of the name, the words copy of. And you absolutely want to get rid of the names by Daryl and Julie Internet Marketing Consultants because you don't want that to show up on the URL or in the browser because that's not who you are. Now at this point here you could change the name of the page if you wanted to, but for simplicity purposes we're going to leave it as is. Click Create Copy. 
Now you're over here and you're on a sales page. Now this is something that's interesting and it's important for you to pay attention to. Everything within this system runs off of subdomains. Now again over here in step one, I'm just going to backtrack a second. If you don't like that title, change it. Step two, this is what I'm talking about. Select a domain to use with this sales page. Well, you don't have a subdomain set up yet because this is the first time you're looking at this sales page. But guess what? You don't have to go back and first set up a subdomain. You can do it right here in step two. It says select a subdomain to use with this sales page. Do not assign a domain. I would not suggest that because you want everything off of a subdomain. Why? It works better in the system, particularly with lead captures. They work funky if you don't use it. Now, even though it's a sales page, if you're using a lead capture page and you don't decide a subdomain, it's not going to work properly. Two, the URL of a sales page that is not set to a subdomain is bizarre. It's filled with characters and it's never something you're going to remember. It's not search, search engine friendly. And three is just, it's just that you want to do that. So you come down here to the third option which says I want to use a new address with my existing domain. Tick that off. If you only have one domain in the system, there will be nothing in the drop down to select. If you have brought in three, four, five, ten, whatever domains into the system, you make sure that you click the drop down and you select the domain that you want the subdomain to be off of. So now you need to give this a name. Don't use spaces. I would put, um, you know, make it something that's number one keyword rich, number two something you're going to recognize because when you start using the system a lot, you're going to have an awful lot of subdomains and you're not going to remember, you're going to have to click on them, which is not a big deal. You can click on them to look at it, but it's easier and saves time if the name you give it is something that you will remember. And so I'm just going to, just for simplicity purposes, call it FLSF, uh, um, I don't know what what does I'm, I'm gonna literally call it this just what does he know just because it's easier and you come down here when using the domain above where do you want the prospects to go you don't have to do anything with this because this is a shared page with you I've already told the system that I want it to go to your lead capture page to get members let's say you don't know what that is well just click over here on view page that's your regular, your, your basic done for you lead capture page to get free lead system people. Now you don't have to touch that because that, that's why it's shared with you and done for you. So click save changes to sales page. Now if let's just say you're in here now and you're, you're done. You, you could technically be done. But let's say you don't like this title. Simply click where the title is up will open a box and change it and then click use my custom text you have the option to do that let's say you don't like the background color well it's yours now you made that copy so you're able to edit it keep in mind that in the system you have to make a copy of anything that is shared in order to edit it so let's say you don't like the background I want to change the background color no problem change the background color. Make sure that you click here when you do change it so that your changes are saved. Now here, if you have taken that video because you like it and uploaded it to your own YouTube channel, you're going to click on select video location because you're going to replace the embed code. Now the first option is I want to use a video from the video library. Well no, this video is not in the video library. So you want the second option. I want to use a video from another website. Make sure that's ticked off and click Save Changes and move to the next step. This code in here is the embed code from your own marketing system's YouTube channel. If you have your own code now, you will simply delete this, put in your own code, make the decision, do you want it to start automatically or not? I have it, yes, I want it to start automatically. And then you click Save Changes. And you're done. Now, if you didn't want to change anything, you didn't have to do any of that. You could have just used it, assigned the subdomain, and you're done. Now, I want to show you, I've, I did put out another tutorial. Because when you, if you come in here and you take that page and you leave, you go have dinner and you come back and you log in again and you're looking at this and you're like, okay, where is that page I just made? Well, you could either find it in Create Sales Pages or a better place 
is put your mouse over websites, domains, subdomains, and view all domains. These are where all your referral links are. All of these are referral links. What did we call that one? We call this was it right here. So if I clicked on it and it opens up, you'll see, yep, that's the right one. And I just want to explain over here. The domain name is what <coughs> excuse me, what you called it. The intro page is the same thing, but what it is is the the name of the page. This is the link, this is the name. The follow-up page is where do they go when they click on look at my website? Well, we already discussed they're going to your FLSF lead capture done for you sales funnel. This particular page, because it's a sales page, does not have an autoresponder attached to it. And no sales page has an autoresponder attached to it because you're not asking anybody to opt in. But guess what? When they come over here and they click on view my website, this is a lead capture page and this does have an autoresponder attached to it. So that's one of the pages that I created for you and one of the videos. The other one is, let's see, the other one I called Avoid Overwhelm with the Free Lead System Forever. So let's click on it and see if we like it. If you like it as is, you have little changes to make. If you don't like it at all, then don't use it. If you like it a little bit and want to make changes, let's go in and show you how to do that. So we come back and I'm just going to reiterate again because this system, this system is a double-edged sword. It is so amazingly functional and valuable. But with that comes a lot of learning. So that's why I repeat things. So again, we're going to come back under Websites, Create Sales Pages. We're going to scroll down to Shared Sales Pages. Avoid Overwhelm, we're going to click Copy because we want to make our own copy. And again, we're going to take out copy of, and we're going to take out who it's by, so our names are not there. Actually, it's not in that one. That's interesting. Update the title. Now, this, again, is completely editable because you have now taken a shared page and made a copy of it, and then you can make any changes. If you don't like the header, you simply put your mouse in the header area, and you click it. That's it. You upload from your own computer if you want one. It's 960 wide. They don't tell you that, but it's 960 wide. Or you can scroll down if you have other headers, or as you can see, Priceless Possibilities has a lot of headers in here for you as well. But the way we did that, made that change was to simply click it. That's it. Once you put click on another one, it will replace what's in there. So now let's say you like you like the header, but you don't like the text. No problem. Put your mouse inside of there. Change the text to whatever you want. Make sure to click OK so that you can make sure that your changes are saved. Now that's the first part of it. If you're happy with what's here, now you want to edit the bottom. Now the way this is set up is I don't have a delay. You can have, if you say I do want if you say I don't want anything to appear under my video. I wouldn't recommend that because then there's no call to action. So you do want something to, to appear underneath your video because you want them to do something. Watching the video is going to get nobody anywhere. You can decide that you want them to show up after a certain amount of time. Obviously, you should check the length of the video because you want this to be less than the length of the total video. For my own purposes, I have it show up with no delay. With the way it's set up now is with buttons. Now, if you're advanced and you don't want buttons, then just click this and get rid of the buttons. But right now, it's set up for easy sharing, meaning that you're going to have a link that says get your free lead system today, and it's going to go to your lead capture page or your sales funnel for the free lead system forever. And again, we're going to view it. It's that page that you put out there on the internet to get people to get their own free lead system. You might say, you know what, I want to put another button in there. I want to promote my, my uh, primary business. No problem. Put it right here. And then you put it over. If it's your primary business, you can actually select from the URL of your company. You can pick a page in your website. You can use another URL. These this, this possibilities are endless here. And if you want another third button, you can do that as well. If you don't want this image, just click it and get rid of it. If you like the image, leave it. So click on Save Changes and move to the next step. 
And then let's say, okay, I don't like the background color. The same thing, here you go. Same thing with the video. Select video location. It's not in the video library. It's the second option. Save changes, move to the next step. If you have your own embed code because you liked the video and you uploaded it to your YouTube channel, get the embed code, replace this. Start automatically or not, up to you. Save changes and move to the next step. And now we're going to view it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I want to show you, this is, this is something that they put in the system because it's a test link, because it's not attached to a, a subdomain, and we're going to attach it. This template requires a different step. This is the URL that is going to be out there if you do not assign a subdomain. That's going to be really difficult to remember, and it also looks really ugly. But let's just check the page, and then we'll show you how to change that. There's your page. Okay, you click on Free Lead System Forever. It opens up into that lead capture page. Now let's close this out because look at this URL. We don't want that. That's ugly. So what we're going to do is we're going to now assign a subdomain. For whatever reason, that particular template doesn't give you, unless I missed it, let me just go back real fast and take a quick look. Nope. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. This particular template, for whatever reason, you have to take that extra step to give it a subdomain, but it's not difficult. So you want to come over here and put your mouse over websites, put your mouse over domain subdomains, and click on manage subdomains. What you need to do now is you need to add a domain. Now let's, I had one, oh I think I, I, did, I did it before, let me just see. Okay, now, I'm going to delete this because I had done this tutorial earlier and the phone rang. So I'm going to delete it and show you again. So I'm going to come back here under Websites, Domains, Subdomains, and Manage Subdomains. We're going to add a subdomain to put that sales page on. I'm going to call it what I did before, which is Avoid Overwhelm. And then I'm going to click Create. Now over here, the way the, this is, this is kind of hard. It works better with a lead capture page. So what I'm going to suggest, when you see a sign subdomain, just X out of it. The reason being, if you click here, it's going to take you to a lead capture page. And this is a sales page. So we trick the system a little bit. And we say, OK, we want to use a subdomain for a sales page. So we've already created the subdomain. So now we're going to come to Websites and Manage Websites. What this does is this allows you to choose your landing page, which step one, it is the subdomain that you just set up, avoidoverwhelm.yourdomain.com. Now, <coughs> excuse me, step two, when you are in the manage subdomains and you're choosing your landing page and then you're choosing what you want to attract people to, you have three options, unless you're one of our high affiliates, but the upgraded people have three options, the premium members. Become a prospect for whatever I want, become a free lead system forever, or get valuable content for free. 99.99% .99 of the time and 100% of the time if you're trying to use a shared sales funnel or shared lead capture page or shared sales page from me, 100% of the time you're going to find that under become a prospect for whatever I want. That's where you're going to find it. Now if you recall, it's a sales page. So we're going to scroll down. It's not sales funnel. It's a sales page. It's not a shared choice because we created our own. We're going to keep scrolling. It's not a lead capture page because it's a sales page. So we're going to keep going down into sales pages you created because you did. You created a copy of a shared sales page and you made it yours. And this is it right here. And if you say, I don't remember, no problem, click on it. There you go, that's the thing again. But yep, that's the right page. That won't happen when you actually assign the subdomain. So here it is. It's avoid overwhelm with the free lead system forever. Use this one. Scroll up or down, whichever is closer, to, to select Save My Choice. Now you'll see this is going to go directly to the page and not that thing, that test page that says that you're just using a test page because it now has a subdomain. So let's click on it. There you go. There's your sales funnel. It's your domain. Up in the browser, it'll be your domain dot 
your subdomain dot your domain dot com not mine yours if you click on the YouTube video if it's your brand if it's if it's uploaded to your YouTube channel it'll be from your to YouTube channel if it's on your own marketing system don't worry like I said it's not branded there's no links down here if they click on get get your free lead system today they come to your lead capture page for the free lead system and this is just a pretty image and I actually well you could if you wanted to have that hyperlinked or you could get rid of it completely if you don't like it so I'm going to show you one more time now how we find all our pages again I literally did a tutorial called where the heck are my referral links because remember what I said before is you log in and you're like where is it put your mouse over websites put your mouse over domain subdomains and click view all domains these are all your referral links that one was called avoid overwhelm we click on it yep that's it this is the name of the page the prospects choice is because we have it assigned that means that when they click on that green button they're going to your lead capture page for the free lead system forever this is again a sales page there there is no survey campaign attached so I hope that you like that I hope you like the videos I like to add a little something because you know the the lead capture for the free lead system forever video and sales funnel is great but sometimes you want to add a little pizzazz sometimes you want to do something a little different and you might decide by the way that you want to create your own video of you speaking and telling let's say you're a team leader let's say that you have a lot of people on your team you could come in and create a sales page record a video on your webcam pick any one of these templates it could be this one it could be this it doesn't matter which one you, you pick but make sure it's a sales page because again you don't want to be asking them for lead capture information twice and you would simply upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo or wherever you're, it's hosted put the embed code in speak to your audience and say hi my name is Jane you know me we've been in business together for a very long time I came across this program that's awesome the free version is free it has value there's also an upgraded version blah 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 click on the green button below me and go get your own free lead system forever that's a way to really personalize and brand the free lead system forever sales funnel so I thank you very much and I hope you found this useful bye bye